when I found you. I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that, something truly special. Yo. We're gonna give our Star Wars The Last Jedi review. Because y'all deserve the truth. And we're gonna tell ya straight up. We actually wasn't gonna see this movie. Especially after the disappointment of The Force Awakens. But we saw several reviews. Everyone said it was good. Many said the best since The Empire Strikes Back. So for the sake of giving Star Wars a chance we decided we'd go see it. The way Empire Strikes Back was better than the first in Star Wars laid the foundation for it. Even though Star Wars didn't have the illogical stupid crap The Force Awakens had in it. We still figured we'd give it a chance. Especially since Luke Leia and Chewie was in it. So we went to see it on Friday. And we gotta say. Wow. Wow. Wow wow wow. This movie's gotta be the worst fucking piece of fucking garbage crap we've ever seen. That's what that intro was about. Because it's a fucking clown movie. Curly Larry and Mo Musta wrote this fucking garbage. It would be one thing if it was just a random movie and you never heard of Star Wars or saw the first trilogy. But it's not. And we did. So it's gotta logically relate and correspond to these flicks. And it doesn't. Now we don't know what Disney's got going on. Like if they're like fucking one another. Doing rituals and promising motherfuckers that ain't qualified jobs for taking the cock. But we do know they're extremely fucking disrespectful and their entire operation's an insult to our fucking intelligence. You wanna sell us something yet don't wanna put the patience and quality in that it takes to make a worthy product. What the behind the scenes story is we don't know. All we know something freaky's going the fuck on with these motherfuckers. They're greedy motherfuckers with no respect for fans. They're gonna do what the fuck they wanna do and listen and no one yet you better buy it. We don't trust them and we don't trust the review motherfuckers no more either. How the fuck can anyone claim this shit's on the level, or the best Star Wars since The Empire Strikes Back? And we say they have no respect because they listen to no one. Not even original cast members. Now we're not gonna have any spoilers in this review. Except for one that everyone should know and has the right to before they go see the fucking crap. Yet the irony's there's nothing a fucking spoil. So we simply won't give away the illogical garbage in this trashy movie. But first. Let's just take a quick listen to Mark Hamill and why we say Disney has no respect. Are you bummed that Luke didn't get sort of a reunion with Han Solo? Absolutely. In fact, when I was reading it, I thought, if Leia's trying to mentally contact me and she's not successful, she'll rush to his aid. She'll get close to him and then get into some dire situation, and that's when I show up for a big, yay, save her life. Then we rush to Han and are in the same position that Ray and Finn and Chewie are. Too late to save him, but witnesses. And I say, because it would carry so much emotional resonance into the next film. For us, his wife, his best friend to witness, instead of two characters that have known him, what, 20 minutes? Well, Chewie. Exactly. Yet they could give two shits what the man has to say and gonna do what the fuck they want anyway. Like how the fuck can they think his opinion was dumb and the crap they did was better? Fucking idiots. Not a mention the end goals to make money. And the best way to do that's a good product giving people what they actually wanna see. Now we're a request channel. We talk about what y'all wanna talk about. We make it clear. We're open to your views. If it's a different opinion we wanna hear it. So long as you deliver it with diplomacy. Because if it's a good one embrace and it only makes shit better for us in the big picture. Well that ain't Disney's writers views. They're just walking egos. That don't get that in the end this shit's gonna make them less money not more. Because we assure you. We'll never pay to see any of these fucking movies again. We're done with Star Wars for good and wash our hands of the shit. We honestly don't even have a desire to watch the shit for free once it comes on TV. That's how fucking bad it is. Never the fuck again. Disney's literally destroyed Star Wars and multi-billion dollar potential. Whatever they make with this shit. It'll always literally be a couple billion they lost in the big picture which their massive egos will probably be too big to see. 
now we said there won't be any spoilers in this review. No need. If you saw the trailers you already saw the fucking movie. Actually we're wrong. If you saw the trailers you probably saw a better movie. Which you imagined in your mind. Sadly you ain't gonna get Vacha fantasized about on the real screen. Now we'll admit this movie has a few nice visual scenes. Eye candy. Who the fuck cares? Star Wars is a story. And all the eye candy in the world doesn't mean squat without a decent story. Special effects is a common thing these days. That's meaningless without a reasonable logical fucking story behind it. Like no one wants to see Bruce Lee just beating people up for no reason. No matter how much we like the skiller moves. You gotta kill a sister family or something for the fight scene to hold weight. There's gotta be a foundation behind it and the foundation's gotta be logical. But there's none in these movies. They're just give us your money movies that's an insult to your intelligence. Meaningless light shows. The kind of thing a child would get happy seeing. And even kids are starting to get too smart for that. The first three movies made were for everyone in all age ranges. But for you Star Wars lovers that were around for the first three. Hear this. Let's all repeat the mantra, it's only a movie. And if you think you're going to go into the movie and recapture your childhood, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Damn fucking real. If you're thriving off of the old nostalgia of the original movies and think seeing Chewie Leia and Luke's gonna make this shit better. Hang it the fuck up. There's no unexpected in this movie. There's not ready. Yoda. I am ready. I... Ben, I, I can be a Jedi. Ben, tell him I'm ready. Nah. None of that. For the generations born after this movie. Scenes like that were fun unexpected scenes. You grew up knowing who Yoda was but fans at that time had no idea the annoying little creature was actually Yoda the great Jedi Master. So you never experienced it. And you won't be getting those kinda unexpected twists in this crap. There'll be no thrilling twists. No. I am your father. Nah. None of that. Y'all grew up no invader was Luke's father but the fans back then didn't. Just use your imagination. The thrill and aura of the fight. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. None of that in this fucking movie. The only unexpected thing about it was that they could actually write a storyline this fucking idiotic and retarded. I mean this is so fucking easy you ain't even got no damn work. The story's already in place. Yet they figured out a way to fuck up what's already written in stone. Like there's no fucking work even needed to make a Star Wars film. Just follow the code of the first three. Yet these motherfuckers figured out a way to fuck that up. It's literally mind blowing. We assume they think they're making something exotic. Gotta make Luke have conflict in a bunch of stupid unnecessary crap that doesn't make the movie better just fucks it the fuck up. Now without any spoilers in this review. Other than the one we said y'all should know. We're gonna explain something. Which Disney and their dumb writers ain't getting. And calling motherfuckers names ain't really our thing. Butcha trying to jack money from motherfuckers including us. Yet don't respect us enough to hear our views and give us what we wanna see. If your writers have no common sense or knowledge on real life the universe and nature then get a motherfucker that does. That's what Lucas did for the first three. Like learn the fuck about real life chi masters or something. But first before we get into that. We want y'all to see something. And why we was so leery about the first Force Awaken flick they made. That's the return of the Jedi ending. Get it? It's fucking over. They saved the fucking galaxy. Vader returned to the light and died. The Emperor was killed. The Empire got its ass waxed. That's what the fuck they're celebrating for. Ain't no more fucking war. Unless you're gonna have beings come from another galaxy. 
which was a very possible storyline. Though these writers are so dumb we don't even know if they know what a fuck a galaxy is. Nevertheless. Everything's at peace. And the crowd walked away happy with that ending. And with these movies being classics. Then here comes Force Awakens. And we're thinking. Okay. We like Star Wars. But what the fuck's the point of watching this shit if they're gonna win but still ain't gonna win? This shit's just gonna go on forever. Which is their plan? To drain your fucking pockets forever. Why should we even care who wins? You're just gonna pop up with another fucking movie anyway so they still didn't really win squad. These new movies make even watch in Return of the Jedi as a classic useless when you get to the end. You realize they're just celebrating for fucking nothing. Yet if you're gonna make another set of Star Wars movies. At least follow the fucking Star Wars code. But what these zero knowledge having motherfuckers ain't getting's that Star Wars. Like life. Was a fucking ride. A journey. From boy to man. Student to master. And the fans rocked with the journey. These writers are totally fucking clueless with their whack popcorn movie light shows. Uh, these films now are being made by uh, children. And apparently clueless fucking children. As we said. It's a fucking journey. But the clueless kids that don't get it's a journey fuck the story up. And this is where the one spoiler all y'all who haven't seen it yet comes in. And it's the thing anyone who hasn't seen this stupid idiotic movie deserves to know. And it's this. Jedi trained and were trained by Jedi Masters. Every Jedi Master was trained by a Jedi Master. Training is massively important in the Star Wars movies. Both on the light and dark side. They had apprentices. And they started from childhood. This was big shit in the foundation to Jedi in the Star Wars galaxy. But not Rey. Rey's a super fucking genius. No one trained Rey she can just beat motherfuckers who trained since birth. Born a galactic legends. For no damn reason other than she was a bum with a stick. Even Luke trained. Yes, run! Yes, a Jedi's strength flows from the Force. That's why it was risky. He had to learn so much so fast while being a late starter. Luke, you must complete the training. Wrong is Vader. Mind what you have learned. Save you again. I will. His training wasn't done and he learned way to fuck more than Rey. But Rey just beats up motherfuckers born to galactic legends. Because she has tits. And to the ladies listening. This isn't some respect towards women Disney's pulling. But a disrespect and insult to your intelligence. Like Sexy was looking at the shit shaking her head. And believe us when we tell y'all she trains. Vader's blood grandkid who trained from fucking birth. By his Jedi master and uncle. Rey can just pick up a lightsaber for the first time and beat the motherfuckers ass. With no training ever. Drive a punch, not just arm, whole body. Everyone trains. It's like the major part of all movies. People wanna see the shit. It's a journey. And it's part of the fucking journey and ride for the moviegoers. Which the Star Wars writers have no fucking clue about. We seriously doubt these writers ever trained in squat so don't get it. Even Jesus trained. Doesn't matter if he existed or not. The writers of the story were smart enough to make him go to the mountains for 40 days and nights. And that's with him having studied his entire life. Shout out to Jesus never existed while we're at it. But not Ray. She got her little sticky thing so she knows all this stuff. She can fly Millennium Falcons without ever having flown one before and in less than two minutes be better than the best pilots automatically. Betcha she can get right in one of these babies without a single lesson. And automatically know what every button does and just start killing experts. Then they had Snoke try and crack on Ren by claiming he was bested by a girl who never even used a lightsaber before. All that fucking shit was was an attempt at damage control for getting cracked on by fans for The Force Awakens. Yet did they learn? Nope. She's out easily killing trained motherfuckers all over again. We wanna make something clear about logic in the real world. Even those little nobody guards y'all see. Standing at doors and shit like that. Well even they trained for battles. Like any other fucking soldier. The spoiler in this one we said all should knows this. Luke never fucking trains Ray in this movie. Which we thought was gonna happen from the trailer. It's the main reason we went to see the shit. Yet he never does. He just calls her a Jedi for no fucking reason. Luke didn't even train with Obi-Wan. Yet he still handed the motherfucker a saber and had him test himself. Contacted him from the other side. 
then he trains with Yoda. Yeah. Because it was big shit. Use what you learned. And even then Yoda told him he wasn't finished already. Luke trains with Yoda. Then fights the baddest motherfucker in the galaxy second to the Emperor. And even after all that. No more training do you require. Already know you. That which you need. Then I am a Jedi. <laughs> Not yet. One thing remains. Vader. You must confront Vader. Then, only then, a Jedi will you be. Nope. Still not a Jedi. But Rey is. Because she has tits. Like did these fucking writers even watch the Star Wars movies? There's so much crap with this movie we're not gonna get into to avoid spoilers. But naturally when the root of the story's idiotic the story itself's gonna be. You got this guy. The galaxy's at peace Annis Bloodline 1. He's the child of legends in a family of legends. All good. Even the one bad one became good again. Yet he evil. He turned dark. Apparently from boredom. Like what the fuck's the purpose? To rule the galaxy. For fucking what? They'd already be the lords of the galaxy. His fucking family won. He'd already be able to do anything he wanted. Guess he needed to torture people. Happy loving people aren't just gonna produce an evil kid. Sexy and life were apprentices of one of the greatest pro gamblers on the planet. Great man who's no longer in this world. They honor the man's name to this day. They didn't become evil and start bashing him after he taught him a bunch of fucking secrets. I mean we get Vader turning evil. The motherfuckers treated him like shit. No matter how many times he saved Obi-Wan's life all he ever did was insult the guy. Like give the motherfucker some fucking credit. Let him get some pussy here and there that's all. Those little things what he kept the man in the light. But no no no. Yet this shit with Solo and Leia's kid that looks nothing like them motherfuckers is totally fucking illogical. And he's turning dark. Probably because he's really Jabba's kid. When's he even gonna be around dark motherfuckers to be influenced? And he's dumb as nails. Trying to kill his own parents like for no fucking reason. Because he found some ugly motherfucker named Snoke attractive. Then the dark side's calling him the rebels. Like the dark side would be the minority now not the light. The light already fucking won. The entire story's idiotic but we ain't gonna spoil it. We'll just say this before we exit. Star Wars was a journey. The smart thing would have been to let Rey have abilities she didn't understand or know how to use. Let her give Kylo Ren a fight yet in the end get a ass beat. And leave an opening for her to escape in defeat. Like Skywalker in a Empire Strikes Back. Then let her find a wise patient legendary Jedi Master named Luke Skywalker instead of some disturbed motherfucker acting like he was on crack. Maybe even let her be his daughter. It's a family feud any fucking way. Trainer. To face Ren again. Like everyone woulda went crazy for that shit. To see the next showdown. Knowing she lost once. It's the Star Wars code. But nah nah. This was too easy for these writers. They think everyone woulda hated that storyline. I mean damn. Like if they wrote Rocky. They woulda just let Rocky knock out Apollo in the second round of their first fight. While never having trained or even been a boxer. Like let Luke be super badass with the force in this. Let him slice up a few motherfuckers. Smash a few skulls with the force. And have a damn showdown with Snoke. Like the fans woulda went crazy for that shit. But nah nah. This woulda been too stupid to the writers. Matter fact Luke's force skills have increased. And decreased simultaneously. Oh, I can't keep the vision out of my head, they're my friends, I gotta help them. Oh yeah. Luke knew his friends were in danger through the force. Yet he don't even know Solo's dead. Like we thought the motherfucker knew. That he felt it? Same way Obi-Wan felt a world get destroyed. Nope. Not Luke. Apparently the writers thought that was illogical. Chewie? <laughs> Take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> oh yeah. Chewie been through wars with Luke. That's one of his three closest friends. Like family. Yet he acted a way in this movie that was totally fucking illogical. But we gotta avoid these spoilers. Star Wars annoyed us enough when he wasn't equally awarded at the end. With the fucking racism. Yeah yeah we're pulling the race card. 
Okay he was a different species. So fucking what? We'll call it speciesism. From a 1 to 10 rating. We rate this movie. A big fat fucking zero. Huh. Okay we'll give it a 2 for special effects. Since it did have some nice visual scenes and we liked the ending scene with Luke. That's it. And until our next one. Peace. We're out.